So you want to build a modern house. Well, let's do that. Today, I'm going to show you how I build my modern houses in Minecraft. For this house, we'll pick up where we left off and build right next to the old modern house. Everything starts with a good foundation. So let's begin by finishing the leveling of this land. Now that we've got our land flattened out, it's time to pick a pallet. For this build, I want gray concrete for the walls, smooth quartz for the floors, dark oak for the other floors, spruce for accent, brick for accent, clear glass for the windows, and stone for the supports. Before we begin building, I need to consider where this road's gonna go. Now, because the land is shaped funny like this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the outer circles, well, not circles, the outer lines of the house down on the ground so that I have an idea of what I'm going for. Now that I have the house built out on a floor level, I'm going to do something crazy and build up the shapes of the house without any windows. Now that we've got our basic shape of the house complete, I want to get started on carving out the windows. I thought I was going to do more of a modern look on this one, but this is kind of a take on one of those like modern slash traditional houses that you see in cities sometimes. So without further ado, let's start carving out the windows by each side and then explaining my logic behind both, you know, behind each decision. Now, as you can see here, we've got the front windows. I wanted to keep it kind of simple with some texturing in the middle, but also have these smooth. I tried to add the black or deep slate pillar windows in between here, but the way the house is laid out, it just kind of looks a little weird. So I've decided to leave 
this one as just the black concrete. Moving over to this side, we have this nice little area right here, which is gonna serve as a terrace over the living room, but we have to work on where we're gonna place these windows. So once we place the windows, we'll be able to see how this works in the grand scheme of things. Now, as you can see, we've got a new terrace up here with a fireplace that I decided to incorporate the brick into. Our windows are pretty easy. We just carried over the double wide window portion and added window corners to the living room area for here. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Next up, we're gonna move around to the back and deal with the windows here because I kind of have something special in mind uh, for the backyard, so we'll make sure that everything looks good and is ready to go for when we start working on the pool, backyard area, etc, etc. So now the back of the house is finished. As you can see, I changed things up a little bit by adding a corner window to here for the bedroom. Oh gosh, here comes the weather. Where are you? There you? Go. So I have this, you know, for the bedroom overlooking the backyard. Then I was able to have larger windows back here because I didn't have the roof going up as high on this side, which is kind of good. You usually have bigger windows on the backs of houses here under the covered, you know, backyard section, I guess <laughs> we have a lovely wide bay window kind of thing. It's not really a bay window, but it's a big window that we can look out of and use to create a sense of openness when you look through and see through to the other side over here because of the dormer that's up here i had to take out this window right here and just have these three little ones but that's okay because one of the things about modern architecture is it doesn't always have to be symmetric so or mirrored in that case now we'll move on to this side which is the last side i doubt i'm gonna do anything too crazy here but let's get to it and then we will begin on the interior. Now this side was pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory. What actually is going to determine what this side looks like is going to be how I decide to do the interior. But for now, we're just sticking with this, you know, a, decent size window up here in the dormer and then just an evenly spaced uh, set of windows downstairs now for the interior this is where it usually gets tricky because the most important placement you're gonna have in a build is the stairs for this i'm thinking i go one two three and then bring a brick wall out right here so that it divides the room in half we can have the kitchen and so and whatnot on this side but it also creates a space to have the stairs. Um, by that, I mean, we could have the stairs right out here, or we could have the stairs over here where this section of wall is. However, for this build particularly, I'm a fan of having some stairs go right here instead of in the middle of the house. The reason for this being is that when I have the stairs like this, I can come here, place this overhang and create an open sort of, well, foyer, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. I was originally going to put a bedroom right here, but we can change things. And now we can have space for a bedroom right here and a bedroom down the hall. 
First things first, however, I'm going to create a new ceiling right down here. I'm going to use spruce to go with our build. Actually, hmm, what do I want to use for the ceiling? I guess I'll just stick with the concrete. Now that I've filled out the top part of my build, the most important step is now what we're going to do. So I need to plan out where I'm going to have dividers in this build. I think I want a divider on each side just like this, like I have over there, because then it separates the different areas of the house. For this side, I don't know what I want, <laughs> but I'm definitely going to have the kitchen in here. Let's see. Ah, oh, yeah, I was going to say it's like it looks a little uneven, but that's because I did that there. But that's OK. Now here to break up the room, I'm going to put a little divider. Actually, I might do brick right because I still want that brick texture. I'm going to put a little divider right here. Oh, right here. And then. I'm going to put another little divider right here. Now, I think I might use slabs for that. Uh, let's see. Nah. So what I'm going to do is actually put a divider right here. Is that three? Yeah. A divider right here that kind of, you know, breaks up this little area, but then also doesn't completely split the room. This way, I can have a seating area here a uh, hallway of sorts here and then another seating area right here over here there really doesn't need oh, <laughs> there really doesn't need to be much of a divider but i do want to have an office right here this way i can add you know a desk and stuff right here you know make it like a little home office and so on and so forth. This doesn't need a divider because, well, it's the living room. At most, I will come here and put this here for a TV and also... Oh, well, hmm. Does that make sense? I, I guess I guess it does. It's, hmm. I'm not sure, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit that. But there should be a certain room divider here. I think if I treat it like this then we can have oh no 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 oh if i treat it like this then we can have kind of a hallway feeling right here with you know seating area here and i'll find a oh, i'll just put the tv above the fireplace though now upstairs is the fun part now i want a bedroom right here so i think what i will end up doing is adding a spot right here for the bedroom and then bringing out now no 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 i'm going to just bring it out like this make it easy then there you go this way i have a large ish bedroom <laughs> and then no issues with future plans and i need some light up here because it's gonna be hard to see soon but we'll do that oh, all right i don't know what i'm apologizing for yeah there's that so this will be the main bedroom you know and uh no i'll put the bed right here you know with it yeah yeah then because this way when you wake up you're looking out there now hallways are always my struggle i want to have enough space to walk down it, but I also want to have enough space in the landing right here. So what I'm going to do is mark this area out like this. And then I'm going to curve it right here. Wait, is that, is that the middle? Oh boy, this is a too wide one. So then in that case, I'm going to go right here. And actually, I'm going to add another bedroom right here so that we have this. So now it should look like this. Have a bedroom here, bedroom here. There we go. So now we have four bedrooms. Uh, this one of these might be a bathroom. Maybe, maybe that one can be a bathroom, but 
we have our bedrooms and honestly i might do one where it's off center like that you know give some space for the bed and whatnot now that i've got that complete i'm definitely going to add lighting in here <laughs> because wow it is dark So here's what we've got so far after putting in all the lighting. I turned it to night just so we could see the lighting and you know, honestly, it looks pretty good. I decided to go a little simple uh, with the lighting, but you come in here, you got a nice orange glow, like a nice warm tone. In here, this is where the kitchen's gonna be, so makes sense that we have this light tone. Coming through this side, we have our office, with just a nice little nice little lamp in the center. No lighting here. I think I might do like a floor lamp or something. And then up here we have our lovely chandelier. And then light down the hallways, light in each bedroom. Blue light here, because this is gonna be the bathroom. And light in the main bedroom. I decided to change this to be the main bedroom because, well, it's the biggest. And if you come over here. This is more of like a like a game room or a lounge room or something like that. Uh, here I want a mixture of, I think, lanterns? Ooh, wait, hold on, I have an idea. Well, I had an idea, but it didn't really work, so I'll just stick with lanterns out here. But what I was trying to do is make the little string lights like this and have them hang down out here for some, I guess, ambience ambiance if you will but we can just have some lanterns like this for now i don't i don't need it to be too crazy but i've been placing my doors in here and for the outside facing doors i want these because well i mean look at that it matches the palette perfectly lovely and then for the inside doors i'm going with dark oak because it's dark and it's oaky no <laughs> it's dark and it's easy um easy to use or it's a nice easy to use because it's dark and it provides some variation to the standard texture and now to begin with furnishing the house And there we have it, an entirely furnished house. The kitchen's a little rough, but I'm not good with kitchen areas. You come in through here, and now we've got kind of a seating, living room, kind of gathering area that can be cleared out if we have parties or events. Here we have a lovely den kind of TV area. I love this new painting, by the way. And here's just a guest bedroom, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. If you come up here, You'll see that we added a little landing area here, a little painting, add some color up here, the patio furniture, some fireplace enjoyment areas. Uh, then you move on into the next office, well, the next room, which is the home office, which I enjoy this. If this was my office in real life at home, then I think that would be awesome. You know, sit here, talk, look out at the pool, at the backyard, and yes, there will come down here are the bedrooms so just a kid's bedroom i kind of pictured like a teenage boy you know something like cool uh 
yeah something cool a little sleek some more modern just a laptop i didn't really have too much to think of and then the bathroom with the lovely shower and this amazing window but i had to do some work with this it, it it's not the best bathroom but it's also weird space but i think this is how it would work in real life now coming down here you have of course the little girl's room uh got lots of books got a computer and everything a bigger chair than teenage boy because the teenage boy hates everything we buy him <laughs> and then in here is the main bedroom where you know, the parents would sleep stuff like that we've got a little tv area some books a little reading corner and then more uh storage or a closet if you will now comes the fun part where we work on the backyard and make it look all nice and pretty out here and i think i'm just going to combine the backyard and the front yard into one time lapse because everything else meh so let's get into it Well, there you have it. A fully finished suburban contemporary home. Let's do a quick tour before we wrap things up. If you come out here, you'll see that I added an entrance. You know, something better than just a hill. Come here by Bob. You'll see that we have a divider right here. Living room. The kitchen. Another seating area. The true living room. A den, if you will. A guest bedroom. Gotta take a pause real quick. A patio. An office, which honestly, I would love this office in real life. The bedrooms. Bathroom. Another bedroom. And the main bedroom. Honestly, thinking about this build, I think I actually made a cohesive build for once. This might be the most cohesive build I've done in this game so far. Out here you have the lovely pool, which I would love to have in real life. Let's be real. I'd love to have this whole house in real life. Got the hot tub up here. Lovely views overlooking the edge. I haven't done any foliage yet, but that's not really part of the build here. Gonna be overlooking the skyline, so we'll see how that works as soon as I get into developing it. And here you've got the pool house, which also serves as a recreation room slash outdoor kitchen you can flap down all of these and serve your guests well thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed today's episode of being in builds i had fun building it please remember to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe 
and i'll catch you next time we build another house out here